Before proceeding any further in this course, let's make sure we have the ACX plugin installed in Audacity. ACX Check is available on the Analyze menu. The installation process of the ACX Check is very simple. Go to this Audacity plugin's website and find this section with ACX Check. I will put a link to this page in the description of this lecture. You have to download the acxcheck.ny file. .ny means it is a Nyquist plugin. You can use many different kinds of third-party plugins with Audacity, and Nyquist is one of them. Nyquist plugins are also quite easy to install in Audacity. In the details section of this file, you can read what this plugin does. You can read the limitations and how it works. I will show you in detail how to use this plugin to measure audio quality. Click on the file name to download. Choose a location to save this file, I will save it to the downloads folder. The file is downloaded, and now go to Audacity. From the tools menu, go to the Nyquist plugin installer. A pop-up window will appear, and browse to the location where you kept the ACX check file. I kept it in the downloads folder. Select the file and open. After choosing the correct location of the file, click apply. For you, the installation process will proceed if you do not have it already. For me, it is showing an error as I have already had it installed. But I think you now understand the process. After installing the plugin, you can check the Analyze menu. It should appear without any issues. If not, then you have to do an additional step. I will show you that just in a minute. To use ACX Check, you have to select the audio where you want to run ACX Check. I want to check the entire track against ACX requirements, so I will select the whole track. After selecting the track, go to ACX Check. You can see a pop-up window appears with the readings. Some readings failed, and some passed. We will see how to act based on the reading as we progress through the course. In case the ACX check does not appear, you have to check the plugin manager. You will get the plugin manager in both the tools and analyze menu. From the window, find out the ACX check. For me, it is appearing at the top. If the state is not enabled, click on enable. If you do not see the ACX check in the pop-up, click on rescan. Normally this plugin manager check is not required, but I shared it with you just in case. Before proceeding to the next lecture, make sure you have the ACX check. If you are watching this lecture on YouTube, it is part of my advanced Audacity course. I am giving a heavy discount on the course building phase. You can pre-order this course from this Buy Me A Coffee page. You can also check the curriculum. This course will take your Audacity editing skills to a whole new level. You will be able to edit and produce professional quality voiceovers and audiobooks confidently. You will become an advanced level Audacity user to use Audacity to its full potential. If you are editing voices for voiceover demos, or YouTube or online courses, I would recommend you take this course. If you want to become a professional VO artist, I would say it is a must-have course for you. You will learn techniques like removing popping peas or plosives, and mouth clicks. You will learn advanced EQ techniques and efficient voice processing with Audacity. You will find the link in the description. Enroll in the course and give yourself an amazing opportunity to uplift your skills.